hands together. I got this other one started and now we need to do that one and then we have this one left and then we can turn it so when mama cat is in here I've been piling it full of stuff so she don't do that again I don't want it okay I don't want her uh, doing that no more man it's cold in here uh, so, I am having, going on and working on this thing, like while I'm uploading a video or downloading, however y'all want to look at it, and I'll, so I can get this done and get it, get it going. Uh, I have came up with a quilt and I want to work on it. And I made the pattern up myself. And hopefully, I got drawled out in the house. Hopefully, I don't lose it. <laughs> and that's something strange for me to do, because usually I don't, I don't do stuff like that. I just copy everybody else's quilts. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. Everybody does it, but and it has to do with the. Um, one of them uh, rulers that I have got and I don't hardly use. And I want to use it. Try to make a quilt. And I'm hoping it turns out the way I want it. And that's ugly. Yeah, I'm one that, if you're new, I, I, I want to make ugly an ugly quilt. I mean, I don't work on it really hard. But I like to find to do an ugly quilt. And all. Uh, everybody says, you know, I don't think you can. And you probably can't, but I want to give it a try and see. And I have colors that I excuse me, I got mine. And I hope it works out. And I've still got some boxes over there. That has uh, stuff in it for me to do. But if I don't do them, who cares? Nothing ain't written in stone. But anyway. I can't wait to start turning this thing. Like I said, if I get one roll a done a day. Which there's probably going to be a lot of these videos, and you're probably going to be bored with it. But, and I'm trying to think of things to say. And I would say the quilt will be halfway done by the time you all watch this video. Because there's a couple more videos up before you get to this one. And it seems like this one is, uh,. I'm getting a lot, a lot done. Believe it or not, it seems like it's, it, this quill is just like going real quick. I have enjoyed doing it. And when you enjoy doing what you do, it, it just seems like it just goes faster. And all, and you seem more happier too. And all, I love this new method tying knots. I do. Sometimes I get mixed up. <coughs> I don't really have it right down pat, but I am pretty close to it. And. I like it. Um, Rick is in there eating my bread up. 
You know the bread I showed you? He's in there eating it up. Well, that's good. I will pig out on that bread and I'll have my stomach problem right back again. So, I'm glad he's eating it. Alright, I gotta do something with this light. My hand is... My hand is in the way. And... Can't work in a shadow. Can't see where my chalk line is. And Mama Cat's at the door again. That cat will go through a uh, pounce like crazy. And if I don't watch her, she'll eat a whole bunch of it. She won't eat no food. And I ain't too happy about that. But that girl dog, man, that girl dog, well, I'll tell you what. We think she had gotten, she has either got beaten real bad, or she's an inbred dog. In other, her, in other words, her mom and dad are brothers and sisters. So we're not quite for sure, but she is, she's an ignorant dog. <laughs> but we're going to love on her. And see what we can do about getting her smarter. Hope we can. I would say that this quilt is probably about the same size as they said. I had to go back and listen to the video and get the size on what they said that this quilt is. Now, I've been watching two videos on this quilt and all, but uh, I'm going to go back and see what size they said that it was when I get done with it. And when I do the measurements, I hope I can remember it and find out if it's the same size that they said it's going to be. One said one size and one said another size, but I'm going to go by the one that I went by this size and see what it is. If I remember it, who knows, I may forget it. I think I've still got five days to go. I think this has had six uh, layer. No, it'd be five. Because it's five across and five up. And, uh, see what they say. I can't wait to turn it. Because when I turn it tonight, I ain't gonna mess with it till tomorrow. And, because I am going to do all four of them each day. And that'll give y'all a lot of videos to watch. I probably ought not uh, record every one. And just kind of chill out on it. When I get the first row done. Y'all can see the first row. And I probably won't do the other ones. Until I get to the end. Let y'all watch the first and the last row. I'm hoping y'all see them be pretty good. I got this one right here to do next. And uh. But they have been going pretty quick. And I know y'all don't want to watch one that has nothing but just fast forward. That would be crazy. But if I think of anything to talk about, which I have been trying to, and I am not doing no good try, uh, thinking of anything to talk about.
So, I don't know. We'll play with it. See what happens. This is some weird thread. Never seen it pop like that. You know how? See how big it is? It looks like a barrel. <laughs> kind of glad that I didn't put the other uh, those that two inch strip on here. I wouldn't have nothing to bind it with. And I, you know, we got to bind it. And um, because if we don't bind it, it's not going to be a good quilt. Oh, I got a hangnail right on my thumb. We're just about done with this one. We start on that other one. And we get it done. And then we can turn it. We are done with this one. going to do with this next one is I'm going to fast forward it and I'm gonna go ahead and sew it down fast forward it so that we can get this turn so let's see what we can do about get you there all right From right here on out it's going to be fast forward
one and now we can turn it and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move everything over here move my chair <coughs> and I'm gonna move this We are going to turn it. Now I'm going to move you over here. Make sure that you can see. And I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to get this one off. So that we can turn it. Yeah. Right. Now then, we're going to take this one and we're going to roll it up to get to right here. Pick this one up. There. And then we're going to unroll it. Push it up there. Uh-oh. Alright. Now, we got bubbles up here. At the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to fix them first. So that they are fixed and we ain't going to worry about them. We're going to start right here in the middle with a roll one up. And we're going to pin it down. And when we go to get started on re-rolling it, we've got to take them pins out on account of it won't roll. <laughs> I think that's good enough reason, ain't it? layers right here <clears throat> to make it work. Oh, uh, baby one. I got two baby ones in here. And I guess I'll have to use it. Baby ones ain't that great on something like this. <clears throat> Alright. So here we go. We are going to start doing this again. I've got to come over here. I have to have the end so I can get to it. Oh, come on now, it's getting heated over here. down at the other end.
we are ready <clears throat> to work on our next block, which will be right here in the middle again. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to pile this thing up so his mama cat can't lay on it, and I'm quitting for the night. And then tomorrow, we'll work on them. I forgot to show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. And I mentioned it a couple a couple back. Look at this. From the Dollar Tree. I wish I was some way I could open them up. I don't really want to open them until I'm ready. But see here? And I'm pretty sure I can come up with some kind of quilt or something with these. Alright. I am done, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Alright.